<laughs> Mike Lansley is ready to go. Everyone, get a round of applause up. Welcome to the stage. <laughs> so, I've got the COVID vaccine coming soon. Uh, and I thought, well, people are going to be travelling again. So, let's do some travel advice. Uh, who, who here likes travelling? Yeah. Yeah. Have, have you been anywhere interesting recently? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, because of fucking COVID. <laughs> um, first thing I'd like to say is Perth is a shithole. Uh, has anyone here been to Perth? Yeah. Woo! yeah, yeah, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> if, you, if you ever do visit Perth, uh, I've got one travel suggestion of the number one tourist destination you need to check out while you're there in Perth. Uh, and that's Hertz rental car, because that's the <laughs> quickest way to get the fuck out of here. Uh, generally with Western Australian tourism, you either go north or you go south. I'd like to talk about going north. Uh, there's... the north of Western Australia is beautiful. There's just these oases of natural beauty surrounded by a lot of red dirt in between. The, uh, the official West Australian tourism app was actually able to save a lot of space by using the same map of the middle of nowhere repeatedly for every entry. Uh, I, a, lot of, a lot of tourist destinations within West Australia are interesting shaped rocks. Uh, wave rock is particularly popular, and it does genuinely look like a giant wave, just without any dickheads at surfboards. <laughs> My personal favourite is, uh, when it comes to rocks, is the pinnacles. Thousands of limestone monoliths sticking out of the ground, some up to a few metres tall. When I was there, I spent a few hours in the desert, just wandering around, looking for which pinnacle looked the most like my penis? <laughs> I found one. And I'm not one to send unsolicited dick pics, but I did send a photo of this rock to a friend of mine, and she did confirm that it particularly did look like my own cock. Because <laughs> she'd seen it. Um, a lot of people in Perth uh, don't, don't, don't visit other places in Western Australia, it's too expensive. So instead they go to Bali. Or Indonesia, if they want to sound classy. It's uh, so it's it's a lot cheaper there, even when you factor in flights and accommodation. Uh, in fact, if if you ever want to get a cheap suit made, it's cheaper to fly to Bali, wait there a week, uh, and and fly back than it is to have a tailor-made suit made in Melbourne. Uh, which is great if you it's for a wedding or something, and you're only going to wear the suit once. Or never, or if she calls the wedding off. <laughs> uh, international travel has its complications, though. Uh, you need to get visas and permits and travel insurance, and most importantly, you need a good uh, a good photo on your passport. <laughs> these th these things are these things are with you for ten years, so you've really got to look good on passport photo day. Uh, I I needed to get a passport to go on a Kentucky trip. And it just so happened that, at the time I needed to get my passport, uh, I had an interesting beard, uh, vertically. Back it up a little bit. Uh, oh, can, can you see, can you see that? Sorry, I, I did have a larger photo printed out, but I forgot it. Um, yeah, so uh, I fully expected somebody to tell me no, but apparently in Australia, as long as you don't smile, you can get just about anything you want printed on your passport. Uh, Kentucky was fun though. Uh, but if you do ever go on Kentucky, be aware that everyone gets sick. So try to learn the phrase, call ambulance, in the local language. <laughs> And also, don't drink the tap water in Slovakia. <laughs> more, more so, don't ask for a cup of free tap work water at Macca's in Slovakia. <laughs> it will really confuse the staff and you do not want what they give you. <laughs> uh, personally, I got sick in Amsterdam. Uh, I, I decided I needed some Panadol, which Surprisingly isn't that effective against laryngitis, but I was in pain, so I, I wanted some Panadol. I'm not one to buy name brand Panadol though, like, that's, this stuff's expensive. 
So I just went to the local pharmacy, grabbed a box of paracetamol Z, Z, paracetamol Z pillin off the shelf, and headed back to my hostel. It wasn't for a few days before I googled the word Z pillin, and I found out that the reason the pills were an interesting shape wasn't just because I was in Holland. Uh, it was actually because the pills were meant for the other end. <laughs> yeah, still didn't help with the laryngitis. <laughs> Alright, that's all from me tonight. Thank you. Oh! oh. <laughs> Just oh. interrupted. Accidental mic drop there. Hands on a mic drop. Mark Lindsay, everyone. Good thing about these mics. I mean, if, look at this mic. Look how fucking beat up it is. <laughs> look at, it's not a sphere, is it? It's fucking beat up all over the place. You can, you can like, want, however much you want, and it's probably fine. That actually kind of hurt. Um, <laughs>